Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Eight Ways Boston University Can Jumpstart Your Career. My name is Jeff Murphy, and I'm Associate Director in the BU Alumni Relations Office, as well as a proud alumnus of the BU Questrom School of Business. Today's webinar is being sponsored by the BU Alumni Association and is offered to our 321,000 alumni around the globe. It's important that we get your opinion on how we're doing, so we very much look forward to receiving your feedback via a survey that will be emailed to all of you later today. I know we have alumni joining us from faraway places like Beijing, Germany, Rome, Kazakhstan, Nigeria, Kailua, Hawaii, and also a lot of alumni right around the corner in places like Brookline, Cambridge, and Boston. For all of you, please know that we really do value your opinion on this and every program that we offer. Some brief housekeeping notes. As you know by now, this webinar is being hosted on the Adobe Connect online meeting platform. <clears throat> if you experience any trouble with the audio or visual portions of today's presentation, I'll ask that you please contact Adobe Connect directly. If you want to jot down that phone number real quick, it's 1-800-422-3623. Today's presentation is being recorded and will soon be made available for on-demand viewing on the BU Alumni Association website, which we will talk a lot about today. Uh, you can find that at www.bu.edu slash alumni. I'm looking forward to taking questions uh, that you have today, and you're welcome to submit them throughout the presentation using the Q&A chat box you should see at the bottom of your screen. Only I will see those questions, so no need to worry about any kind of confidentiality issues surrounding career stuff. Uh, feel free to fire away as I go through our presentation. I'll try to keep my eye on that as I, as I go, uh, but if I happen to miss any, I will be sure to leave time at the end to review them all so I can make sure to provide answers. And with that, let's get started. Throughout your career, BU wants to support you, help and define, uh, excuse me, help define and achieve your professional goals. We aim to do this by providing alumni with access to a series of valuable online tools and social media communities. My goal today is to give you a very brief overview of these resources. We probably will not have time to dive down deep into each of them, um, but certainly um, I hope that you'll take some time later this afternoon or tomorrow and do it on your own. 90% um, of the things that we make available are you can access right from our website um, at, again, bu.edu slash alumni slash careers. I think as long as you remember that, you'll be good to go. So my plan is to run through a few slides that I have prepared, and we'll actually jump back and forth between uh, live looks at our website and other places on the web. And again, please feel free to, to chime in using the chat Q&A box uh, at any time. Now, looking over my registration list, it looks like we do have a really even spread of alumni, um, at least by age, on the webinar today. We have just as many guests who graduated in the 80s as guests who graduated in the last five years. One thing that would be helpful for me to know um, is sort of if you could quickly define kind of what stage you're in in your career by taking a look at this online poll. <clears throat> So if you could just select the answer that best represents you, for which category best describes your current career status? Are you a new professional right out of school looking to you know, climb up the ladder? Uh, have you been working for a while? You're in middle management but looking to break through. You've been working for a long, long time but thinking about a total career change. I see we have a few of you on today. Um, perhaps you're just recently unemployed or underemployed, actively seeking uh, a new opportunity. Um, we, I, I, it certainly makes sense to me that we'd have people tune in today who are very happy in their jobs but are just looking to stay sharp with their skills and, and no resources that are available to them. Um, unfortunately, as of right now, we don't have anybody who just loves free webinars, so I'm glad you're all here for a reason. Uh, but this is really interesting. Uh, lots of you have been working for a while and are thinking about a big change or just trying to... Um, to sort of break through and, and unfortunately a lot of you that feel as though you're unemployed or underemployed um, and I do have some things that I think we can talk about today that hopefully you'll find useful. Certainly no magic bullets in here um, but I think a lot of things that um, that can provide some value and, and we'll, we'll talk about those. So thank you for your time uh, in answering that poll. So as I mentioned uh, all of our Career resources are accessed from our website. I showed you, uh, that's a shot of what it looks like, and you'll see that live in a second. Um, but I feel that it's easiest for, to, for us to talk about these resources um, if you put them into these three categories. I think that uh, the alumni office provides things that will help people prepare for a job search and prepare for careers. 
Um, networking, obviously we all hear these statistics about how important your building your network is. And that's actually one area where I feel that BU alumni relations can really add some value. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of tools that we have um, that will help you with building a strong BU network. And then lastly, um, specifically, you know, places you can find open positions or actually find a job. So um, the first category being prepare yourself and the, the one that I think can provide the most value, you already know about it because you're participating in our career webinar series today. Um, in a second, I'll show you uh, a space where you can actually view our on-demand library of uh, career webinars. We do these just about monthly, sometimes two a month. They're always done by alumni for alumni. So every single presenter we've ever had um, understands what it's like to be a BU student, a BU alum, shares that experience with you. And I think they make, uh, that makes, I think, our webinars a little bit more valuable. Uh, and certainly, as I mentioned, we, we record all these webinars and make them available to you in an online archive. And I'll, I'll show you where you can find that. Um, our webinar series sort of delves between Two different kinds, you know, generic professional development webinars that I think apply to anyone and everyone. But then we also dive deeper into industries uh, and feature alum successful alumni who have had uh, great careers in a specific industry talking about sort of trends and um, things that are happening and, and sharing their experience working in that industry and with particular companies. And so uh, you'll see both uh, types of webinars listed. Um, I will show you quickly uh, a unique tool that we created using social media called Terriers at Work. We have a Twitter series um, that I think will expose a lot of people to what it's like to work in certain industries and in certain companies, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And then lastly, but perhaps most important, um, as alumni, um, you all do have uh, access to uh, several centers for career development around Boston University. The central office uh, you can find at bu.edu slash careers. Um, there you'll find dedicated uh, career counselors who are available for one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions. Now please know this, um, they are not a tremendously large staff. Um, they are primarily here for undergrads and, and graduate students. So those of you who've graduated more than two years uh, ago might find that there's a small fee for a one-on-one -on -one counseling session. Um, I can tell you that is uh, a fraction uh, of what you would pay for a private coaching session with somebody you might find on the open market. Last I heard it was, I think, $25 for a 45 minute appointment. Um, and quite frankly, between you and me, don't share this with anybody. Uh, they very frequently waive it for people who are experiencing some kind of economic hardship or something. So I encourage you to check that out. They also offer workshops, seminars, and events that you're welcome to attend. Um, and then, as I mentioned, in addition to the central office, which all alumni are welcome to connect with, you might check in with your individual school or college uh, because a lot of them offer specific career support um, resources. I can tell you that Com, Engineering, Questrom, School of Medicine, the School of Law, School of Hospitality, Administration, and the School of Public Health all have dedicated staff that are ready to help alumni of those schools uh, in their job search. So. Um, with that, before we move on, all right, let's take a look at some of these things. First and foremost, I want to show you um, our website. Let me pull that up quickly. Bear with me for a second. Okay, so here you see um, the landing page on our website. Again, that's just bu.edu slash alumni. You'll note that there is a... Um, Menu or yeah, a toolbar or a menu over on the left, and careers is one of them. Um, that'll bring you to this specific page right here. This is just an overview, um, but where you'll really find the meat uh, over on the right-hand side navigation, you'll see career development resources. And again, we've organized all of the things that we offer under these three categories: prepare, network, and find a job. And again, we'll go through those. Um, there are some quick, again, links on the right-hand side. And one thing that I wanted to mention was our professional development webinar series. And here you'll see both upcoming webinars. Uh, I have one coming in February that I apologize I haven't put up here yet, but you'll find it on our calendar. Um, and then every single webinar that we've ever done, um, you can access from here. Just click on the play button and it'll actually bring it up in YouTube. Um, but please do take a look. We, we've had some really fantastic sessions over the years and I encourage you to take a look at that. Um, we talked about Terriers at Work. Again, this is a uh, series that we've created on Twitter, 
where alumni take over this account for a day and tweet about what it's like to work at their company, in their job, in their industry, uh, field questions from followers, um, and just share advice, reflect on their BU experience and how it shaped their career. So if you're a Twitter user, all you have to do is follow this account um, and you'll automatically see in your feed when somebody takes over for the day. The other thing that you might have interest in doing is, of course, all of these are also archived and you'll find them. We have a, a page on storify.com. That's S-T-O-R-I-F-Y.com. Uh, and if you search for Terriers at Work or just go to storify.com slash Terriers at Work, all spelled out, you can actually browse through every single person who's ever participated in the series and look at all of their tweets, the way they answered questions, and that sort of thing. Um, and then lastly, um, please do visit the website for the Center for Career Development. I'll show you a couple of tools uh, on this as we go, but this is a great place to start. Um, there is information about scheduling an appointment with a counselor if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, back to our slide deck. Uh, Abraham, I see that you've chatted in that you can't hear anything. I apologize for that. It seems like everything is working on my end. You might try uh, checking your computer speakers or just maybe even restarting and joining us back in the in the booth here. I apologize for any problems you're having. Um, so the second category of tools, again, this is where I feel that we really have some great things to offer. And that is uh, in helping you build a strong network. Um, so first and foremost, uh, one of the things I'm most excited about this year is that we recently launched a series of online speed networking events so that Terriers have an opportunity to connect with each other from around the world. Uh, this is something that matches you in a one-to-one -one text based chat. There's no video involved. There's no audio. It's just by typing. Um, but it's, uh, I think, a little bit more efficient than traditional in-person networking events and that kind of thing. So I'll, I'll show you some uh, some information from those in just a second. Series talking to me. Excuse me, everybody. Um, first and foremost, of course, as well, is just the fact that we've got a, a really strong alumni network around the world. And um, there's an area on our website where you actually can see where alumni live uh, and you know, the cities that we have strong presence in. So many of you might know. Uh, oh, I should mention also, you know, all of our networks, all of the cities that we have large alumni populations are doing events constantly. Uh, and a secret that you want to make sure that you know is that we're sending you invitations to the email address that we have on file for you uh, based on the zip code we have on file for you. So if you haven't updated um, your address or an email address with us in quite a while, I encourage you to do that again bu.edu slash alumni, there's a, a, a separate page where you can update your address. But based on your zip code, we're going to invite you to events based on where we think you live. So uh, make sure you, you, you check into that. Um, our top three alumni cities, of course, many of you probably know are Boston, New York, and DC. But we also have very active volunteers in the California Bay Area, Los Angeles, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Miami. So we're constantly having events in those cities. Internationally, uh, BU alumni networks are really um, thriving. Uh, many of you may know that the number of international students just increases with every year with our freshman class. Uh, this year, I believe that 25% of the class of 20, I believe it's 2022. Uh, it might be 2021, uh, is, is from international countries. And so we have thriving networks in China, the UK, India, United Arab Emirates, Turkey, and others. Uh, many of you are, are tuning into the webinar today. Um, a great opportunity that I would um, uh, encourage you all to look into is coming up in April is Global Days of Service. Uh, that'll be a great opportunity to connect with alumni in the places that you live as we'll be sponsoring community service projects all over the globe. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, Jessica, I see that you, you asked a great question. Is it possible to schedule a remote or by phone counseling appointment with one of our counselors? Absolutely. Uh, they, they do phone appointments without question. So definitely feel free to uh, visit their website and, and get something scheduled uh, for a phone appointment. They, they absolutely do that. Thank you for asking. Um, LinkedIn is obviously a huge piece of 
um, anybody's career strategy and BU is making sure that we have a presence there as well. One of my favorite things to do with alumni, especially when I meet them in person or in groups, we had an event last night in downtown Boston with about 50 alumni who turned out. And, and of course, I, I wanted to ask, you know, how many of you are on, on LinkedIn and every single hand goes up? Um, I follow that up quickly with how many of you know what to do with it? Um, almost nobody raises their hand. There are a couple things I want to show you that I think make LinkedIn incredibly valuable. Um, and we actually have, uh, just mentioned a, a few minutes ago, our webinar archive. Uh, we actually have two webinars that were done by alumni previously about LinkedIn. And we actually have another session coming up in March. Take, uh, keep your eyes open for that. We've got a great alumna who is going to be on March 28th doing a session about building a strong brand on LinkedIn and social media. Um, and so we'll put, be putting information up about that on our website very, very soon. Um, so there are two things I want to show you on LinkedIn. Um, one of them is the BU alumni group. Uh, we've got 37,000 alumni who've joined this one group. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you where to find that. Uh, and then also there's a really powerful thing called the alumni search tool, um, which I'll show you in just a couple seconds. Um, the BU Career Advisory Network, uh, we'll dive into that a little bit as well. And that is bolded on purpose because that I think is one of the most valuable tools that we offer. We have nearly 7,000 alumni who um, have made themselves available as a warm call as opposed to a cold call. So these are alumni who have volunteered to um, welcome you to contact them for career advice, networking, um, and just other information you might be seeking from them. So I'll show you how to use that. Um, obviously, as I talked a little bit about, we're constantly doing events all over the globe. Uh, and many of them are focused specifically on networking. So again, always want to make sure you keep an eye on events that are happening in your area. Um, tonight, there's a Questrom uh, networking event happening in San Francisco on January 19th. Tomorrow, we've got an alumni networking event happening in Hong Kong, January 25th in Chicago. There's just constantly things happening to check out. And then I'm excited to let you know a little bit about um, a new BU alumni app that we have. Um, so first and foremost, um, let's go back to... Um, let me show you a little bit about speed networking events. Uh, so again, this uh, we do a couple of these a month, and they generally, um, we've been experimenting this year with both events that are focused on specific industries or specific regions of the world, uh, and also some special affinity groups. Um, as you can see on the lower right-hand corner, our next one's coming up next Tuesday. We've got uh, an online speed networking event just for real estate. Um, I highlighted and, and put in red, quarterly we'll do all alumni networking hours. These are designed for alumni all over at every corner of the globe to get together and network with each other. So that'll happen on February 8th. We already have more than 200 people signed up for that. I definitely encourage you to participate. That'll be a great one just to test it out, um, see how you like it. And then on February 16th, uh, we'll be doing one specifically for all of our alumni in Asia. So uh, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see, I, I realize that might be hard for you to read, but it's just an idea of the, what the interface looks like. That's actually a transcript of, uh, of a chat that I had with somebody in a booth. But again, it's totally text-based. It's a little bit like, you know, those of you who might be a little bit older might remember uh, AOL Instant Messenger kind of thing. But it's super efficient. Most of the chats last eight minutes. Um, and once you get inside the event, you have a little bit of an, an opportunity to... Um, to connect with people in, in groupings that, uh, that you're interested in connecting with. So um, I want to show you uh, LinkedIn. OK, so hang on for one second. I want to mention some of the things I'm going to show you on LinkedIn I have found don't work so well um, in, I use Mozilla Firefox as my browser. Um, and specifically, this alumni search tool it doesn't seem to work as well as it does in other browsers. So you might have to experiment a little bit. But what you're looking at right now is the alumni search tool. And again, this is what I think is one of the most valuable pieces um, of networking support you'll find out there. Um, what it does is it allows you to, it'll pull up the last educational institution you have listed on your individual profile once you log in. And let me start by saying, uh, you can access this just by logging in and then going to linkedin.com slash alumni. And again, it will automatically pull up the last institution, but you have the ability to change that um, over here on the right-hand side. You might see this small change university. So um, again, this is showing me, um, I've got this set to look for all alumni who attended since 1900. So it's showing me that there are 2,112, almost 2,013, 200,000 
113, excuse me, 213,000 alumni uh, with BU listed on their profile who are who are have public views on LinkedIn. And these three columns here, you'll see, you can sort them by where they live, where they work, what they do. On the right hand side, there's a, a small little carrot that you can expand to see even more what they studied, what they're skilled at, and how you're connected. Uh, which might be, of course, most important. So let's take an example. Um, you know, I, I constantly am thinking about big companies that are in the greater Boston area, so I can search by Boston. So now it's whittling down. It shows me that there's 74,000 alumni who live in greater Boston who are on LinkedIn. That's not all of our alumni, just those who are on LinkedIn. Um, and maybe you're interested in the financial industry. I can see that there's 457 alumni at Fidelity uh, State Street. You know, 399 uh, alumni with public profiles who um, work in State Street. And most importantly, again, if I go over to the right-hand side here, uh, I can see how many of them I might be connected to. So, um, you know, 112 of those people are in the BU Alumni LinkedIn group along with myself. Um, but if I look closely, I have 60 second connections. Uh, so somebody that I'm connected to can introduce me to 60 people who work at State Street. So a great resource um, for specifically if you know what companies you're looking for, um, but also if you just want to search by industry in terms of what they do. And again, you can expand this to view the whole list. Um, I can look and see, all right, how many, all right, get State Street out of there. I want to search how many alumni in the Boston area do we have that work at Google? 45. Um, so that's that's pretty impressive. Obviously, this works better for larger companies, um, but is a incredibly valuable resource nonetheless. The other thing I wanted to show you was the Boston University Alumni Group. Again, we are thirty, almost thirty-seven and a half thousand members strong. This is a great place to uh, post interesting articles, read interesting articles, um, connect with other alumni who uh, are you know sharing content about careers. We very frequently have people who, and I encourage you to do this, to post a discussion saying, "Hey, I've been you know working in this industry. I'm thinking about making a change, looking to connect with people who do X, Y, and Z." Um, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, you'll find that we have a lot of very generous alumni who are interested in helping. The other thing um, with all LinkedIn groups is that this is also a place, if you um, just look under uh, above the first discussion post, you can actually uh, search jobs uh, that people are um, posting specifically here. Actually, sorry, I was already on the jobs. Um, this is more of the um, discussion area. And then on jobs, you can see people are posting things where they want to hire specifically BU alumni. Um, these are automatically deleted after two weeks of being available. So right now, you'll only see that there are a couple on here. Uh, but um, for those of you who are also looking to hire, this is a great place to, to post information. OK, um, back to the Career Advisory Network. Um, let's go here. Um, again, um, it, using your navigation uh, to career development resources under network, you will find the Career Advisory Network. I'm going to visit that page. Um, this is alumni of all different stages of their careers who offer to you know help with networking and, and career advice and things like that. Um, and so in addition to, I hope that you'll find yourself a career advisor, I also would ask that you sign up to be one. Um, we, we always are looking for people to volunteer. Um, and so please, you, know, you can do both on our website here. All right, I'm going to log into uh, the network because we want this to be just for BU community members. That means students and alumni. But you will need to log in. Um, I'll be the first to admit that can be kind of a challenge when you're coming back to our website for the first time. But we do have a staff of help desk people. If you run into any challenges logging in, they're here to help you do that. So again, um, this allows you to search alumni. Again, warm calls, people who volunteered to, to make themselves you know. Uh, somebody that you can contact, a series of um, parameters by which you can search through the database um, by region, by state, by where they live in the world. If you know, if you're looking to see if somebody that you've you've found on LinkedIn is a actually a can advisor, you can search for them by name. Um, but I recommend keeping it a little bit vague at first and then narrow it down from there. So again, we we you know the easy example is Google. How many alumni do we have who are career advisors who work at Google? Um, perhaps I want to narrow that down a little bit. 
I often uh, would encourage people to um, search by state first before searching by city. This tool, this database is pulling on both business address and home address. Um, but I think you might have more luck searching by state first. So let's look at Massachusetts. How many can advisors work at Google and live or work in Massachusetts? Two. Uh, certainly not the you know um, results that you might find on LinkedIn. But again, these are people who've said, yeah, go ahead and contact me. Um, so another great resource to take a look at. Um, I'm going to go back to our slide deck to talk about our next thing. Uh, and now I can see the questions that are coming in. Chris asked, asked a great question. Do you need LinkedIn premium for these services? Um, Chris, my answer is I definitely don't think so. Uh, I do not have LinkedIn premium myself. I've never not been able to get in touch with an alum that I found using any of these tools. Um, the one difference that you might find is obviously without LinkedIn Premium, you can't always directly message somebody without connecting with them first. Um, but my advice for you, and we'll talk a little bit more about networking, um, to get in touch with these folks, find them on LinkedIn, send them a, a request to connect, but customize it. Don't just say, um, hey, I want to connect with you. Explain a little bit why. You know, Oh, I'm also a BU alum. I saw that you work at this company. I'm interested in hearing more about it. Um, but again, you should not need premium, I don't think. Um, that being said, it wouldn't surprise me. Many of you know that Microsoft recently purchased LinkedIn, um, and so it wouldn't surprise me if things change in the future. But for right now, um, I've never um, not been able to get in touch with somebody that I wanted to. You're welcome, Chris. Uh, you just texted in, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I can't show you our mobile app because, of course, by design, it's for mobile phones. Um, but we are relaunching um, an app that's existed for a little while. Um, Angela has commented, actually, you can message anyone in your group. I believe you're talking about LinkedIn. So yes, as long as you're a member, thank you, Angela, as you're a member of our 37,000 strong BU alumni group, Boston University alumni group, you can connect with each other. Um, it would be anybody who wasn't already a member. Um, that you would need to connect with. So thank you for making that point, Angela. I appreciate it. Uh, so this mobile app you can find now in the uh, Apple App Store. It hasn't yet been updated in Google Play. Um, but the amazing thing about this uh, is it, it searches alumni by where they work. So um, anywhere you are in the world, you can pull open this mobile app and have the power of the entire BU alumni directory at your fingertips. Uh, as you can see on the right-hand side, um, that's a map of Manhattan uh, where I've pulled up, and those little terrier logos are all places where Boston University alumni work. And if you look closely at the bottom, you'll see it's only 97,000, or excuse me, 97 results of the 16,000 alumni who live and work in New York City. Um, so uh, I definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, it's recently been redesigned with some, some more user-friendly features, and you can read more about that, again, on our website at bu.edu slash alumni slash app. Um, again, let's talk a little bit about networking because um, I hear from alumni very regularly that other alumni just aren't good at this. Um, they, you know, and a lot of them, a lot of alumni are pointing fingers at recent graduates who maybe haven't been in the workforce for a long time and haven't picked up on some of these sort of social norms. But as I, as I alluded to, um, be very specific when you're reaching out to somebody either on LinkedIn or the Career Advisory Network with the goal of, of getting in touch with them. Make sure that you, you state very clearly what you're trying to do. Don't ask anybody to answer any questions that you could find yourself by doing some research. Um, certainly make sure that if, if you can try to suggest that you meet in person. I think all of us know that those in-person meetings go a little bit better than a random phone call. Um, and then lastly some advice that I would like to share is um, particularly this makes, I think, a lot of sense for our, our new online speed networking events. I think a lot of our alumni go in looking um, for contacts for themselves. And I think what sometimes can be more helpful is if you go in thinking that you might be able to help somebody else by opening up your network to them. Um, and I think a lot of times what happens is once you make that relationship with somebody, you know, it's a little bit, networking is a little bit like dating. Um, you know, not to be crass, but nobody wants to get married after the first date. You want to get to know each other a little bit, um, build some trust before saying things like, hey, do you know about any jobs at your company that you might have to offer for me? So I know that for a lot of our alumni, this is common sense. Um, 
But again, I get some feedback that, you know, uh, people are, are sort of jumping the gun and, and before even saying, hi, how are you saying, hey, I want to work at your company. Do you know of any open positions? Um, definitely connect with me if, if you want to talk about your, your networking approach um, before diving into any of these resources. So our last section that we'll talk about today is finding a career. There are a number of things that I think are useful in this area. Um, and the number one being BU Handshake. This is our private label um, career community. This is managed by the Center for Career Development. Um, but this is the place that we are directing all students and alumni to open positions that are posted just for the Boston University community. We talked a little bit about LinkedIn. I think that is a great place to search for a job. And again, both for job seekers and people who are looking to hire, I hope that you'll use the BU Alumni LinkedIn group uh, to post your open positions. Related, um, we've actually been trying to um, sort of get a, a grassroots effort on social media to get people to post positions using the hashtag HireBU. This is, you'll see some activity around this on Twitter, um, but we've also tried to, to do a little bit on Facebook. Um, and some other channels. Um, and then lastly, I mentioned, you know, uh, there will be events that are available to you as BU alumni. Uh, the next one specifically being the spring, and I, I say spring in um, air quotes because uh, the next career fair for Boston University is actually going to be on February 16th, not very spring-like. Uh, but we'll have several hundred employers who come to campus looking to recruit um, both students and alumni. Now, definitely a majority of the people that you'll see attending are, are students, but we always have you know, over 100 alumni who will attend. Um, we will also be putting together some workshops for March that are open to all BU alumni to come back to, um, to sharpen their skills and, and find out about jobs. I know that in March we also are planning on having a nonprofit career fair and an alumni career panel uh, with people who are working at or recruiting for nonprofit organizations, at least in the Boston area. Um, so keeping an eye on those will be uh, definitely in your best interest. Um, so let's take a look at Handshake. Uh, Yasmin, you've asked, how can alumni ask Handshake? We will, okay, you requested it using the online form but didn't hear back. Um, we'll talk about that, thank you for asking. Uh, so let me show you that website. Hang on, bear with me just for one second while we get that back up. Okay, this is the Center for Career Development's website at bu.edu slash careers, careers with an S on the end. Um, definitely take a look at the top menu here and explore all the things that they have to offer. And again, many of these are, are available to alumni. Um, but to quickly access Handshake, uh, just go to Workshops and Services on the top left-hand corner. And then you'll see on the right-hand side, again, all of the things that are available to you, but there's a quick link for Handshake right there. Um, there's a little bit of a video here that shows you how um, you'll need to ask for um, the ability to log in. Um, as an alum. Um, now, quite frankly, the system uh, which we purchased from Handshake, that, that's not a homegrown thing, that's a, a system that we purchased. They refer to everybody as students, so no insult intended to any of our alumni who've been, you know, not, not been a student for a long time. In some way, we're all students for life, I think, but uh, please don't be offended by that. Um, again, there is an online form that you'll need to fill out just to verify that you are a BU alum, and it's a manual process. So, um, you know, you might not hear back right away. Um, if for some reason, um, you fill out the request form and it takes, you know, more than a week. Uh, you know, obviously we, we had a holiday this week, so those sorts of things can delay the process weekends. Um, definitely let me know. Um, you'll, you'll see my email address at the end of this presentation. You all also got email reminders from me. So definitely always keep me in touch. Uh, keep in touch with me if you have any trouble accessing anything. Um, but it's again, it's a manual process and not automatic, so that's why it could take some time. So again, I already have my profile created, um, and again, you'll see here that it says to log in as a student. Um, hopefully, it oh, it's not going to remember my details, but I can just put it in quickly and my password. And it takes me right to the Handshake landing page. Uh, again, I think the uh, most valuable thing for our alumni who want to use this site will be about exploring job postings, but it also, as you can see on the right-hand side, post upcoming events that 
many alumni will be welcome to attend. Uh, some of them might not be so great for alumni. So I just encourage you to, if you see an event that you're interested in attending, maybe contact the Center for Career Development before signing up to see if it would be appropriate. But again, 99 times out of 100, they are, are welcoming to all alumni from whatever school or college. So again, on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Jobs. This um, has the ability, you can really fill out a robust profile about yourself, upload your resume, and apply to jobs within the system. I myself have not done that. Um, so I'm, I might see a different interface than a lot of you will be. But over here on the left-hand side, again, I realize it might, uh, let me expand this a little bit so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but I can see that there are uh, 3,807 jobs. Again, these are posted just for the Boston University community. Um, and even uh, a little bit below that, I can see that 4,000, uh, that doesn't make any sense. We've got 4,363 jobs posted that are full-time and 1,278 uh, if you're looking for something part-time. Again, a lot of the things that you're going to see here, um, and you can certainly um, narrow that down based on location. I'm going to put in Los Angeles just to see what comes up. Looks like there are 80 jobs posted specifically in Los Angeles. Um, but it's a, a good, I think, from time to time, definitely just log in and browse through what's posted. Um, I believe you can search by specific companies. Um, so that's something to look into as well. And I think you can create alerts. So if there were a specific company you were looking for jobs at, I think it'll let you know when a new one has been posted. Um, and again, you can... Um, Make this a, a, a much more robust experience by filling out some, some information about yourself and your profile. It'll tell you what jobs you qualify for based on your degrees, years of experience, that kind of thing. Um, so definitely worth, worth looking into. Um, let me go back to our slide deck and see if any questions have come. Oh, we do have some questions that have come through. Um, I'll answer some questions first. Uh, we answered the one about how alumni um, access Handshake. Question about will this presentation be archived? Uh, yes, Karen, it will. I'm sorry that you had trouble with audio at the beginning. We record all of them, um, and they're available on our website, which you can find at bu.edu slash alumni slash careers. Um, Gary, I logged in with my personal email address and my interface looks much different. Okay, so again, I, I believe you're talking about Handshake. And uh, if you haven't already created an account, you won't be able to log in. So you need to request an account um, and then the, the Center for Career Development will verify that you're an alum by looking you up in the system. Uh, so I apologize for the trouble, but again, we wanna make sure that only BU alumni are accessing this jobs community. Um, and so, again, it's a manual process. But, Gary, please keep me posted if you continue to have trouble. I will certainly be willing to help you navigate that. Uh, Chris has asked, are there international job postings as well? That's a fantastic question. Yes, there absolutely are. Um, you'll see that on Handshake there are jobs posted around the world. Um, and I believe there's a lot of information within Handshake about how to apply for those um, as a U.S. citizen. Laura, on Handshake, can you search an alert by keywords as opposed to company or location? That's a great question. I'm not sure. Um, uh, I'm, I still have it up, even though you can't see it right now. Um, you can search by salary type, industry, job function, duration. So uh, I'm not sure about alerts, but you certainly can search using some keywords as opposed to just company and location. Um, there's a number of ways that you can search for positions on Handshake. Um, Uh, the question, this person feeling like they're going to need some additional help logging in. Again, we do have a team uh, of help desk staff. Uh, and so anytime you attempt to log into one of our resources on the alumni website or through the CCD, you'll see information about how to contact people from help. Uh, but again, um, I'm here as well. Uh, I'm not necessarily a tech or IT support person, um, but if you run into problems accessing any of these tools and, and the normal help desk folks haven't been able to help, um, please do feel free to go ahead and contact me. Um, Kirsten has asked, are there any career fairs or events, other resources in the Midwest? We certainly have uh, a lot of events. You'll find that most of our career fairs are held here on campus. 
Um, but we certainly have a lot of career programming and networking events taking place in Chicago, again, as one of our biggest cities. Kirsten, where, where do you live by any chance? If you want to chat back in and let me know. Cincinnati. So not one of our biggest uh, alumni hubs. And so unfortunately, you probably won't see us doing tons of events there. But again, we offer a lot of things online um, that I think you'll find helpful. Um, in the future, I think that you will see networking opportunities with company representatives online and potentially even some online career fairs. Now, please don't uh, quote me on when that might happen, but it's certainly something that we're talking about. And so, yeah, I mean, it's a challenge for us to deliver, deliver in-person events in cities where we don't have a critical mass of alumni. Um, I don't know off the top of my head how many we have in Cincinnati. Um, but uh, yeah, keep an eye out for our online events, Kirsten. Mindy, can you search positions by industry, especially here in Boston? Yes, you absolutely can. That's uh, certainly one of the functions. Uh, there's an employer industry tab by which you can search for job postings on Handshake. And again, um, you can search by industry to connect with alumni who work in those industries on using the LinkedIn alumni search tool and the career advisory network. So that'll be a great resource for you if you're looking specifically for an industry. I want to make sure I mention um, Alumni Career Weeks 2017. This is going to be the third year that we've done this in March. Um, but the whole office of alumni relations is dedicated to making sure that we've got co career programs and events happening around the globe and, of course, online. Um, I don't yet have a full roster of events to tell you about, but that'll be going up soon. If you want to just make note of that website that I list there, bu.edu slash alumni slash career weeks. We already have, I believe, 34 programs scheduled to take place during the month of March. About half of those are online opportunities for alumni around the world, and the rest are in, you know, we've got a lot of things happening here in Boston, but also in, in our bigger alumni cities around the globe. Um, so that'll be a great opportunity uh, to tap into your local networks um, and your networks online. Uh, so keep an eye open for that. Um, that's pretty much it from me. Uh, I'm glad that you asked some great questions as we ran through this uh, guided tour. Um, please let me know if, if there's anything else I can tell you about anything that we talked about today. Uh, believe me, no question is a silly one. Um, but if you're more comfortable following up with me by email, you'll see my um, information here on the screen. I'm at jtmurphy at bu.edu. Um, I promise I will try to get back with you when, within a couple of days. I do have a, a fairly busy schedule for the rest of this week, um, but please let me know what I can do to help. Um, you know, again, uh, we recognize that Boston University is in a position to help all of our alumni process through careers, uh, advance, build a strong network, um, and we want to be we want to be there to do that. Um, you know, the best way we can do that is by making resources available to you. Uh, and I think we have some great ones. Again, particularly in this modern day where we know how important it is to build a network, or if you've applied to a, a certain job to see if you know can connect with somebody on the inside. Uh, and that's where I, I do feel like we have some resources that are really really valuable. Um, I don't have any other questions. I do have a couple people thanking me. You're absolutely welcome. Believe me, that's why I get paid the big bucks. Uh, to, uh, to, to share these resources with you. Um, and please feel free to follow up with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day or a, a wonderful evening, wherever you might be. Um, and uh, check out some of our events online. I see a couple more things coming in here. Uh, Deepa, uh, to go back a little bit, will the uh, mentioned nonprofit career fair be an in-person or online event? Great, great point. That's going to be here in Boston. Um, there is a date set, and unfortunately, I do not remember it off the top of my head. I want to say it's the end of March, um, but again, keep an eye on our events calendar, uh, bu.edu slash alumni slash events. I should have shown that. Um, let's, let's take a, a quick look at that since we have a couple minutes here. That's a, a really valuable resource that I sort of left out. Back on our website, bu.edu slash alumni. Um, there really quickly. Um, anywhere on our website, you can always access this menu on the left-hand side, um, which I've just expanded. You'll see there's a whole section just for events. Once you get there, there's a bit of a landing page, um, but you'll see this sort of a small link here for view calendar on the right-hand side. Uh, it gives you just a, a highlight, um, but this is a list of all the events we have upcoming. Uh, as you can see, things taking place all over the world. Um, online, lots of things here in Boston, lots of webinars, online speed networking. But if you uh, 
um, you know, don't want to get emails from us, and again, we're emailing you based on your zip code and the email address we have on file to tell you about these things, but make it a point to, you know, once a week, check out our website to see all the things that are happening. We do over 900 events around the globe in a year, um, and I think we do a great job of providing something for everybody uh, outside of career programming, you know, social, educational, community service opportunities. So uh, as an alum, you've got access to some really great things that are happening. Let's see if we have any more questions here. Geez, thank all of you for your thanks. Um, I hope this was useful. Um, it's great to see uh, some of you have found value in this presentation today. <laughs> Chris, yeah, my joke about big bucks, uh, tongue in cheek. I'm very happy to work here. I love the work that I do. Um, well, that's it, everybody. Have a great day. Uh, feel free to get in touch with me. Um, Dickens, we should do a presentation on LinkedIn. You might have missed that. We have one coming up in March. March. 28th, we are going to have a wonderful presentation online, just like this, about building uh, your brand uh, using LinkedIn and some other social media tools. So keep an eye out for that. Wonderful. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Uh, take care. Uh, and go be you. All right. Bye-bye.